just a vision board is not enough for me. I need someone to give me concrete steps. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and today's video is all about 2021. My 2021 goals, my resolutions, my vision board. Asterisk, no vision board. I don't like vision boards. <laughs> Which I will get into right now since I have to teach in a few minutes actually. <laughs> Let me jump into it. I don't like vision boards. I want to so badly. I think they're so cute. I think they're so fun to make. And although they were super fun to make, I don't like them. Whenever I make a vision board, like it's almost like I put these ideas on a pedestal almost. And you know, there's no action plan. There's no game plan. There's no set little mini goals. It's just kind of like, boom, get a pink Lamborghini this year. <laughs> Cause they tell you to dream big, which you should. But then it's like, well, I got other things to do besides get this pink Lamborghini. Like, what am I doing wrong? If you're like, Catherine, pink Lamborghini, what? Yes, um, it was on a vision board of mine and I'll show you it. 2019. So this was my vision board, um, pink Lamborghini. I also have a Greece on here, go to China, scuba dive, um, get a piano, which yes. And this black car for some reason, like, I don't even want that car. Like I, I do, like I would like that car, but like I love my car right now so much. Like I can't imagine driving anything else <laughs> other than my car, Daryl. Daryl is my car's name. It's a silver escape. I don't know, my friends and I just name our cars. We're weird. Again, it was super fun to make this, but like out of all this stuff, it just overwhelmed me. Cause like when and how and when was I supposed to go to China? And this is 2019, so this was before the stuff went down, but like, or Greece. Like I didn't really have an action plan and like, you know what I mean? Uh, I did have scuba diving on here, which I was the only thing I did in 2019 off my vision board, which is funny because when I was making this vision board, I thought out of everything, pink Lamborghini included, <laughs> the last thing that I would check off is scuba diving. Yeah, I don't get it either. Funny enough, I did actually get scuba certified in the Philippines, which was super cool. And I did get a piano this year, or I guess a few months ago in 2020. And I've been taking lessons every Sunday. So shout out to Wade. He's a great piano teacher. But yeah, so other than that, I never accomplished anything on my, my vision board. It almost just, like I said, was like putting all my goals on a pedestal and I never really had an action plan or steps to get there. So what I started doing in 2020 was writing down all my goals on a piece of paper. And instead of doing it for the whole year, I find that the whole year overwhelms me because I want to just get to the end goal. You know, like say you want to make $100,000 in a year. Well, I just want to go ahead and skip to that, okay? <laughs> but you can't just go out of the blue, just make $100,000. You usually have to work up to that or, you know, have baby steps in that way. So what I started doing is this is my BTO notebook, okay? Um, if you don't know what BTO is, I'll link some videos. It is Nancy Taylor's course all about how to start a YouTube channel and refer other teachers and just, you know, start making passive income and making, creating videos and all that fun stuff. It's an awesome course. I love it. I will link it. If you want to review, I'll link it up here somewhere and I'll also link her course below if you would like to purchase it. It's an affiliate link, so thank you. I really appreciate it. I started this in April, 2020. My cat's right here. I started this in April 2020 and I just wrote down three goals. I put April through July, so it was a three month period rather than a 12 month period. And I put that I want to refer 30 to 50 people to teach online, uh, have 100 email signups and 500 YouTube subscribers. Now, what was so cool about this is I made this in like the end of March, beginning of April sometime, you know, I made it fun. I just wanted three, you know, goals and then I just had fun making it pretty, you know. It's not stunning, but I did what I could with my highlighters. And I forgot about this. I put this in the front of my notebook. You know, I didn't really think about it until at the end of July last year, I was pulling out this notebook and I was like, oh my God, I did my goals. I was shocked at that point. I had just hit 500 subscribers and I wrote um, the date. So it was on July 29th, I hit 500 subscribers. That was huge for me. Again, I wanted 100 email signups. And at that point, at the end of July, I had 204 email signups. And I had over 650 referrals in my system, which was amazing. Because again, my goal was 30 to 50. Now, disclaimer, I did not get paid for 650 referrals. <laughs> that just means that they signed up to teach online and then most of them never did anything after that, which means I did not get paid for them. 
but it is really cool that they signed up and I reached my goal. So I was stoked. So I thought this worked so well. This is amazing. So I did it again for August through October. So again, wrote down three main goals and I wanted to keep it small and I wanted to keep these goals reasonable so that I wouldn't get discouraged if I put 10,000 subscribers and then I wasn't even at a thousand, you know what I mean? Small goals to keep the momentum going is what I I'm working with right now. Um, and then, so uh, here I wanted 1,000 YouTube subscribers and 4,000 watch time hours so I could become monetized and I wanted 500 email signups. So what happened through August th through October 31st? Well, I'll tell you. So on October 15th, I got monetized, which means I did hit 500, uh, or excuse me, I did hit 1,000 YouTube subscribers and 4,000 hours watch time, 4,000 watch time hours, there we go, <laughs> so that I could become monetized. That was pretty much my main goal for all of 2020, so it's really cool that that happened. And then 500 email signups, I ended up having over 4,000. So how did I even get these goals? How was I able to accomplish you know, crazy results like getting monetized and having over 4,000 email signups? Like that's insane. Go from 200 to 4,000, like what? So after I wrote these down, of course, I didn't just sit around and do nothing. Like your girl worked hard, okay? But what it all came down to is what I did consistently every day. There's an interview section in BTO in Nancy's course where Nancy interviews other YouTube teachers who are referring for different companies and they all said the key to their success was consistency. Consistency. They said, you know what, no matter what, I always put a video out a week, no matter what, I did a video every other day, so on and so forth. And I was like, okay, yes, be consistent. Literally any successful person anywhere, they're like, what's your secret to your success? More than likely they're gonna say, be consistent. So I was like, yes, I will be consistent. So I posted a video like, probably four to six times a week. Oh, again, grandfather clock. Okay, so that's what I did and that's how I was able to grow my YouTube channel and become monetized within the year. Now, as far as email signups go, um, was kind of unexpected, honestly, but I wanted to start a TikTok. I had a lot of people telling me to start a TikTok. Um, one in particular was Christina Kors. If you don't know who she is, she's amazing. Definitely go subscribe to her channel and follow her on TikTok. Love her. But she really encouraged me to get a TikTok as well as a few other people. So I did. So on June 1st, I signed up for TikTok. Zero followers. I now have over 20,000 followers on the TikTok. Yeah. Crazy. How did I get there? Consistency. No matter what, I posted on TikTok pretty much every day from like June through the end of October. I posted three times a day, no matter what, okay? Now some days, you know, were a little crazy. I was only able to post one or I had to repost a video or maybe I can only get two out, but for the most part, three TikToks a day, no matter what. And it paid off big time, okay? So if you want a TikTok, definitely get a TikTok. So my point in all of this is, is to be consistent and take action. Those are the only ways you're gonna reach your goals. And I had so much success in my professional life, I guess, at, with YouTube and TikTok, being consistent in those. I wanna take that into other aspects of my life. Besides making this goal sheet, which I'm obsessed with, <laughs> I do it pretty much every three months at this point. A couple of my goals are to get 5,000 YouTube subscribers. So if you're watching this, please subscribe. So I hit my goal. <laughs> much appreciated. Hit 8,000 email subscribers and uh, 35,000 TikTok subscribers um, and 2,000 Instagram followers. Now, I know this all seems very superficial, but I mean, it's also kind of my job, so it's really not. But <laughs> My social goals for um, my channel, for my brand, if you will. But I have much more personal, much more serious goals, which I'm gonna talk about right now. So this is my 2021 notebook. Again, like I said, said earlier, I don't love vision boards. I like writing out goals, like I just showed you. and I don't know if you've ever heard of Struthless. If you don't know who he is, this is him. I love him. Okay? He's amazing. All he's like a he's an Australian animator and he has so many great videos about self-help like, you know, getting things done, uh, tips for procrastinators, life lessons, great advice, like all his self-help videos I'm obsessed with. So, of course, he has a video about how to reinvent yourself for 2021 and it's just a 
bunch of journal prompts. It literally took me two hours to get through all the journal prompts. Um, it's not like a ton of journal prompts, but you know, you sit there, you think, and then you write for a while and um, anyway, it ended up being like an hour or two that I was sitting here writing in this. I like filled out all this with just what I want my 2021 to look like, how I want my 2021 to go. And I made five overall goals for 2021 and just steps to get there, why I deserve it, um, what I have to say no to, what I have to say yes to. Um, I highly recommend you watch his video, the, uh, How to Reinvent Yourself for 2021, because um, it really inspired me to do this notebook. Um, and, and again, I like the step-by-step -step thing rather than, than just the overall picture, like a vision board, much more helpful to me. But this goes even one step further than these two things that I was just talking about. And how does it go a step further? Well, I will explain it in this way. I read the book, The Miracle Equation by Hal Elrod. Such an amazing book. You 110% should read. I'm actually going to reread it because I love this book so much. <laughs> but one of the biggest things that stuck out to me in this book is that he said, just have one goal. Just have one goal that you focus on. Have one goal that you accomplish because as humans, you know, you put all your focus and energy into one thing, it will come. And a lot of people hear that and they think, but I have lots of different goals. You know, if I just do one, how are all these other things gonna get done? And he said, that's not how these things work, okay? If you focus on one goal, you know, it kind of bleeds into the rest of your life and you start accomplishing other things because you feel good. So for example, if your main goal is to lose weight and to get fit, which um, is my number one goal for this year, you know, you're gonna feel better about yourself, you're gonna have more energy, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna bleed into other lives. You're gonna eat healthier, you're gonna, um, you know, bring more to the table in your work life and all these other things. It's kind of a, a snowball effect, if you will. When I read that, I was like, huh, that's funny. That's kind of what happened to me in 2021. My main goal was to become monetized on YouTube. Overall, that was like, it was kind of like if nothing else went right for me in 2020, I was gonna get monetized on YouTube no matter what. <laughs> And of course, from there, it led to different opportunities for me. It led to my TikTok. It led to uh, my growing my email list and so many other things. So that's kind of what that means. I know I'm talking fast, but I do have to teach in a few minutes. So I hope that makes sense. That is my main, 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 main goal for this year is to become physically fit, okay? Like, I think I'm gorgeous. I think I look great the way I am right now, of course. But I could, I just want to be healthy, okay? I want to be healthy. I want to be physically fit. I just want to be who I want to be. You know what I'm saying? So that's my number one goal for this year. You know, of course I have other ones like go to Greece, which it is goal number five, okay? And I wrote out why I deserve it and why it would help me and all these other things. And um, I also wanna launch a digital course and sell online products, something else that I'm working on. And uh, which by the way, if you could drop in the comments below what you want me to make, that would be helpful if it makes sense. But yeah, of course I wanna, Goal number two under my Get Fit goal is to uh, continue to grow and help on all my platforms. So YouTube, TikTok, I also put Instagram, but like, I have, I have such like a, I have a love hate with Instagram, to be honest. <laughs> like I love Instagram, but I have more fun on TikTok. TikTok's just way more fun, um, if you ask me. Yeah, goal number three is to can you continue to teach online and grow on all my teaching online platforms. So, yeah, those are my goals. Again, definitely check out Truthless's video to, um, you know, journal all, it all out. Um, I am gonna print a couple pictures just to put in the front of this, just to remind me, you know, drink water, um, you know, grease, something like that. But I find, like I've said four times by now, <laughs> that just a vision board is not enough for me. I need someone to give me concrete steps. So that's what I did here. I am super stoked for 2021. If you would like to put your goals below, since I shared mine, I think you should share yours. Definitely drop those below and I hope you had fun watching this video. Also, let me know if you like the vision board or you like writing out your journal prompts, you know, writing out your little goals. Which one works for you? I'm also curious, cause I'm nosy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.